And we are thrilled today, today to have the incomparable Dr. David Gregory with us. Dr. Gregory, how are you today? I'm absolutely wonderful. Thanks for the invitation to be with you, Stan. Well, give me some of your recollections of Midwest, uh, back in the Hilton, and some of the fun things you've done at Midwest. Gosh, uh, some of these I've been thinking about for possibly the, the luncheon. I'm not sure how much time we'll talk. But I mentioned that my first Midwest uh, appearance, I was in a high school band at Tupelo, Mississippi in 1963. Wow. Bill, Bill Moody, that's a long time ago, Stan. That's a long, as I would say to most of the teachers now, is in the words of Jimmy Buffett, that's pre you. I, that, that's a long time ago. But uh, it was at the 17th annual Midwest Band and Orchestra Clinic. And I think I, in one of the emails I indicated to you, I still have the program from that. It was a total of 40 pages, including the back and front cover, 40 little pages. I can remember seeing the great names, the giants of the, our business. I remember seeing Claire Grunman uh, at the Midwest. Every year we knew where he sat. He always had a designated place in the concerts. He was there. Uh, we walk around, we see Claire, we saw Carell Husa, we saw on and on and on. And, and once I was on the, the elevator with William Rivelli and uh, Carell Husa, and I thought, I'm in the wrong place. I got on the wrong elevator. I do not belong on this elevator. But it was just business as usual. You just, it was such a wonderful, still is, a wonderful environment. And I think um, I sum that up by saying once I, in one of my articles writing for the NBA Journal, the title of the article was followed the Midwest Clinic in, in the spring. The title was The Melodies Linger, Linger. And they really do. The Midwest Melodies, whatever the melodies might be whether it's the one-to-one -one conversation, whether it's the, seeing the excitement of all those young professionals, uh, thinking back, well, yeah, many years ago, I was one of those. But seeing them rush around from one clinic to the next, to the next, uh, with their bag full of uh, materials they picked up in exhibit area and all of that hustle and bustle and excitement of those few days, those melodies linger. And every time I go back, they're still there. I still see my friends who've long since passed. I can still remember when I would meet them in the hallways. So the Midwest is a very special, not just an event, it's an experience. Uh, there's nothing like it. There's not anything like it.